Good morning, boys and girls. So, one of today's activities is all about the story of the three little pigs. You might know this story already, and you might even have a version of this story at home. But I'm going to read it for you, just in case you don't know the story, and to remind you of it. So, it's called The Three Little Pigs. Look, one, two, three. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs, and they lived with their mother in a snug little house. Until the little pigs grew too big. It's time you found homes of your own, said their mother. So off they trotted on their short pink legs. Trottity trot, trottity trot, trottity trot. Watch out for the big bad wolf called Mother Pig. Soon they met a man selling straw. Ooh, squealed the first little pig. May I buy some? I'm going to build a straw house, he announced. Mm. He set to work right away. His house had four walls, a neat straw floor, and a fine straw roof, and a stylish straw door. Isn't it grand, said the first little pig. Oh, the others weren't so sure. Mm, they muttered and tuttered and trotted away. Oh, look, who's that? Soon they met a man selling sticks. Ooh, squealed the second little pig. May I buy some? I'm going to build a stick house, he said proudly. Isn't my house grand? Sticks are better than straw. The third little pig wasn't so sure. Mm. She trotted on until... She found some bricks. Ooh, please may I buy some, she asked. I'm going to build a brick house. Brick houses are best of all. And she is very happy with her creation. The next day, the big bad wolf came to the straw house. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he called. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, said the first little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. Oh no! The little pig ran as fast as he could to the stick house. The wolf was right behind him. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Oh, not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, cried the two little pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in. <gasps> So he huffed, and he puffed, and he puffed, and he, at last, he blew the house in. <gasps> oh, no. The little pigs, pigs ran as fast as they could to the brick house. The wolf was just behind them. Little pigs, little pigs. Let me in. No, yelled the three little pigs. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, cried the wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed. And he puffed until... Oh, he ran out of puff. Hee hee hee, cried the 
laughed the three little pigs. You can't get in. Oh, you look very happy. One, two, three little pigs. But the wolf jumped onto the roof and he slid down the chimney and landed splosh in the cooking pot. The third little pig picked up the lid and, and all three slammed it on. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, they said, he won't be seeing that wolf again. The end. So today's activity, boys and girls, is to make a little piggy house. Now then, here is one I have created earlier. Here's my little pig. And I've made my pig a little house of sticks. And I've used uh, some grapes, actually, uh, to make my little house. I've made it like a 3D house. That means it sort of uh, stands stands up. You could make a flat house, a 2D house, or 3D house. You might make it out of um, sticks, cocktail sticks like this. You might have little marshmallows or little sweets that you could use. You might make it out of sticks. You might want to make one in the garden out of things you found in the garden. Or you might even want to make one, maybe if you've got um, Lego or Duplo, you could make a brick house. Or maybe you've got um, an animal that has some hay. Maybe you want to make a straw house. Totally up to you. I cannot wait to see your creations. So today's activity is make a little piggy house. See you soon.